no one ever arrives there's gonna be always someone better smarter clever articulate than you more wealthier so you always have to keep going you always have to work we need to be always working I'm inspired by Khrutman teacher's book it's past two of his series here I've dedicated this time again also for initiating the 365 day challenge where you post every day it's leading by example every day content dropping content every day and believe you me we need to trust in the process it's not gonna be easy people are gonna bash us but we're building one brick at a time so DJ Sbu is known for a lot of things he's known for UTS records he's known for leadership 2020 he's known for homegrown farm and homegrown radio he's known for Ekas Noble property he's known for Ama NFTs he's known for crypto university no greater base he's known for Imofaya and going back stories of Imofaya it's it's so inspiring the risk he took book advertiser his brand which that moment got him to get him fired and now nine years later the company is still up and running the risk they say the bigger the risk the bigger the reward I believe this man is a man of vision he can see the future he strate strategically positions himself you know him for the hustlers corner visual mkuku for I applaud him for giving Upenwell the black pen a channel and a platform to shine I believe Penel now has reached a gold status, especially in the podcast and the broadcasting space. So dope. I remember when he first arrived who Hustler's Corner and people asked for him to come again. I think he came three times. And you could see how knowledgeable Penel is and is very articulate. They ended up Building a visual kukukonalapa, the ideas they were bouncing around with him as actually the hustlers gonna have a baby. And if you can look at the influence, Yaga Penola, especially on the hustlers corner, the numbers have grown significantly since a corner working with DJ Spoo. And it has opened up doors for Upenola because before, before I figure. At Seven Zanusbu, he was working with a guy, Tebu Ekebine, who's his business partner now. They're working on the panel show. They were doing tribal, I think it's tribal news. They were shooting content during the July uprising. So, Upenol has grown a lot. And under the leadership of Gati Chesbu, I thank him for giving him a chance and actually guiding him and how many khrutmans do we know who can give you a platform and a chance I'm a khrutman abaya nowadays they can't keep they don't they don't give younger generation an opportunity and that makes the younger generation to revolt because 
when you light someone else candle it doesn't dim your light it doesn't dim any of your light but it actually grows you you learn that's why Khrutmanu teaches book and is, is always relevant why he's associated himself with youth the exuberance of the youth and the ideas and he's coming in with experience the guidance the maturity so shout out to the Khrutman a man who went to visit over 900 schools not to, to gather for votes but to actually inspire the youth a man who worked UIFM a man who hustled who worked to go Tembisa Radio community radio started at the bottom I urge the youth now to start at the bottom with your phone even now he's even giving us master classes on YouTube how to monetize so we appreciate you Khrutman we see you and the brand Demo Fire is growing and soon it's gonna be a USA because he was busy finalizing a paperwork and the marketing strategy and all those things so I'm glad I wanna see more fire grow and one interview he did with Penwell on the panel show I really enjoyed it where he spoke about man in Uwa and the entertainment industry and how the entertainment industry can swallow you how he used to overspend how many people are falling in that trap especially in the entertainment industry on everywhere in the workplaces corporate industrial sector government where people fall into the trap of wanting to fit in every weekend partying wasting money on booze instead of investing money saving money because of umuntu yawa this this life we rise, we fall, we rise again. And he said that he used to live uh, sometimes when you get money, you want to elevate your life, elevate your status, you want to spend and overspend and it's other than we invest your money into property now he's speaking about the property speaking about business and he said he doesn't even own a car now he used to have a lot of cars supercars he used to date beautiful women but now he's focused and actually family orientated man and now he has changed I, I like the way he has changed he's living such a minimal life and he's supporting local brands like Abo Vaps Bupatu Drip, and he's always shutting them out shout out to the gents he's not jealous of their success but actually putting them on wearing their brands speaking about them each and every time so shout out to Yikrutman. I hope I hope he gets to grow more and more. I'm I'm gonna do I think three parts or four or five because of the life of Kati Chesbu. Asapida, let's give the Khrutman his flowers while he's still alive. Singa Meli and we're gonna give him flowers now let's give him now and appreciate the footman and may he keep going 200k subscribers on hustlers corner he's gunning for a million viewers subscribers i think he's gonna reach there he's gonna reach that point the work ethic what the one thing i took out from teachers who it's humility work ethic the love he has for black people unmeshed
yeah hope to see you on another video peace tango sibonga u